Today we're going to take a deep dive into price action together and we are learning what is behind the candlesticks, what happens behind the curtain. So let's get into today's video. And this can be quite an important concept that we're going to discover today because for me when I realized that it changed pretty much everything when it comes to price action but also time frame choice. So let me walk you through it. Here we are looking at a daily chart. You can always by the way see what time frame we are on if you look here at the top left. 1D stands for daily. And what do we have here? We have a strong bullish candle, then we have kind of a, a doji candle and then we have a pin bar, a very small one. But we are on the one day chart and so every every candle represents one day of price action. But we can look into those candlesticks, we can take like an x-ray and we can look at what happens inside because when we look inside the candle we are going to learn so much about what is going on behind the scenes, behind and between the buying and the selling power. And that is something that is absolutely important for every trader. So it's very important to understand that when you look at a pin bar, for example, this is not just a pin bar, there is buying and selling going on that led to the shape of this pin bar. And what could happen? It could be that we're opening here at the low of the candle, we're pushing all the way up to the high of the candle, and then we're reversing back down to the close of the candle. So this would give us a very unique price path and this would tell us something about what is happening between the buyers and the sellers. It could also be that we are having something like a shape of a head and shoulders. We may have pushed up first, then we may have come down, we may have gone up all the way to the high, back to the low and then close somewhere here. It could look like a, a head and shoulder inside of the pin bar. When we look at an engulfing candle, what does this tell us? It's a very different picture. It shows us that there was a little bit of a move in the early trading hours probably, then we moved all the way to the top of the engulfing candle and then just a little bit of a retracement. So the path that we get from the engulfing candle is very different. So let's take a look at what happens inside of this candlestick pattern. And when we go now from the daily time frame to the one hour, we get so much more information. It's not just anymore an inside candle and a an doji. Now we have a head and shoulders, we have a divergence. If you throw in an RSI or a MACD, a stochastic, you will see that you have a divergence from the left shoulder to the head because this trend wave is much shorter and weaker than what we have seen here previously lead up to the left shoulder. So that's the first important part. The second one is that we have strong selling from the head back into the neckline. This is strong selling. It's very different than what we have seen here in the past. After a strong trend, if you see a lot of selling, it could indicate profit taking, which means that more sellers are coming into the market and the buyers are leaving the market. Also, we see that we have lower highs on the right shoulder. That's a key piece of information because it shows us that after the sell-off, there was a bullish attempt, but the bullish attempt was very weak. We didn't even come close to the previous high. And whenever you see that the market is making lower highs, that's a very important piece of information. We also have, we can say here, a double top on the right shoulder. So we did try to push through the right shoulder once more, but the push was rejected and there was no breakout. So all of this is coming from those two candlesticks and once we look inside of them, this tells us a whole different story, right? It shows us that we are weakening here on the bullish side, we have more sellers, the bulls were not able to get high, we had a lot of push here to the downside. So that gives us a very interesting story and it points towards more selling to come. So we can see that here after the right shoulder with the double top, we had another push, then we broke out below the neckline and then the market turned around. So in my personal trading, I find this super interesting. I go to the higher time frame, daily, weekly, monthly, I look for interesting candlestick patterns and then I try to understand what is the story behind that on the lower time frames and what does it tell me about the buyers and the sellers, the dynamics, the, the, the relationship, the size of each group, how are they battling, who is stronger, who is gaining strength, who is losing strength. And I have a few more examples for you. Now let's take a look at this daily pin bar. Again, you can see we are at the daily time frame here top left. But what is going on behind the scenes? What is inside this pin bar? What is it telling us about the market? We are going to the four hour and now suddenly one daily candle becomes six four hour candles. And here we can see a different picture. First of all, we can see we had a little bit of a breakout out of this uh, long range, 
But then here we have a morning star pattern. The morning star pattern is this three candle pattern. I made a few videos about it in my personal experience and in my personal journey. I think this is one of the most profitable and one of the best patterns that you could study. It is a three part candle. We have a strong bullish candle. Then we have a neutral candle, a doji, and then we have a strong selling candle. So this very nicely shows us the gradual change from buying to selling. Very important pattern that is hiding inside of this daily pin bar. But we can take it one step further and we can now go to the one hour chart. You can see one H, one hour, and then one daily candle becomes 24 one hour candles. So suddenly we have a lot more information and a lot of traders believe that the higher time frames are better to trade and there are definitely pros and cons well to each time frame. But it is important even if you trade the higher time frame that you still look at the lower time frames to see what is actually going on behind the scenes, what is the microstructure, because you're going to learn quite a bit. So when we are now here on the one hour time frame, what do we see? We see that we have a divergence here. When we go from this high to this high, it is a much weaker push than what we have seen here previously. So an RSI or a MACD will give you a divergence. We also here have a double top. And you can see from double top to this part, we have a lower high. Very important. All of those things are really pointing towards a lot of weakening here going on. It doesn't automatically mean you should jump on a short, but it definitely tr shows you that the market is not as strong anymore. The buyers here on the microstructure, they don't have the majority anymore, it seems like. And that is then something we can follow up. We can even go further down. We are now on the 15 minute time frame, and we get 96 candles, which is one daily candle. So you have way more information that you can deal with. And now what we see, we have a triple top. We have a range here that was building that market broke below and retested from underneath. Now you can see we have a lower bounce. The market is really pushing into the breakout level. And overall, this now feels like a distribution pattern. And looking at this gives us a very different piece of information than just staying on the daily time frame. You may see, okay, there's a pin bar. But what is going on inside the pin bar is actually what is really interesting. We can just move one candle ahead from this pin bar and see what comes after. And now we have our daily morning star, another very interesting study. And again, you can look for those morning stars on all the time frames. But if you find it on the daily, the weekly, the monthly, maybe even the four hour, you could then go to the lower time frame and observe what is going on inside of here. So we left off here with the head and shoulders after the pin bar and then the morning star, the right candle here is now giving us a wave one and two. So we have to break out out of the distribution pattern here, very strong breakout and then a little bit of a pullback and it turns into a morning star on the one hour. So we not only have our daily morning star, now we have a one hour morning star and we can go and take this one step further. We go from the one hour to the 15 minute and this morning star pattern now is this here. What you will see, you have a pin bar, you have deceleration. I talked about deceleration many times. It just shows you that the market is slowing down. We have a lot of bullishness here. Then you suddenly have no bullishness. The candles are getting very small and then suddenly a strong injection of selling. So you can nicely follow this path. And now this morning star tells you a very different picture. It shows you the start of the bullishness, then the fading of the bullishness. And then suddenly the, the sellers are coming into the market very strongly. And then this foreshadows a lot more selling to come. So you can nicely see how we started with the daily pin bar. Then we moved on to the daily morning star. Then we had our one hour morning star and all of this uh, microstructure gave us one hint after the other that the bullishness is likely to be over and that more bearishness is likely to come. Let's look at the S&P 500 and we are here on the weekly chart, 1W weekly chart. And what do we have? We are in a downtrend and now we are having something like a pin bar. So let's see what we have on the lower time frames. We go to the daily time frame and this is how the pin bar looks. What do we have? We see that we have a gap up and then we have a reversal. So this seems like an exhaustion gap, right? The market gaps into the top, but then within one candle fails and then suddenly you have strong selling coming in. And we have not seen so much selling since all of this recent push. So we can see the pin bar on the lower time frame looks 
very, very weak here with the exhaustion gap and then suddenly strong selling. We can go to the one hour and this is how then one week of trading looks like on the one hour. Here's the exhaustion gap. Here's then the accelerating of the selling. Here you can see the market is attempting to make a bullish run. So it could be that we're making a swing point. And if we stay below the highs, this would look like a head and shoulders, right? We can also throw in here a trend line, which seems to be tested from underneath. And you can see if we go to the 15 minute, that's what we have. We have a lot of strong selling and then now it looks like we have an inverse head and shoulder. But as long as we are not really coming close to the highs, this all feels way more bearish than bullish. Now you can see after the inverse head and shoulder, we had a little bit of a push. We made the lower high that was that I was talking about. And now we were making a run at the breakout level. So you can see a very strong selling pa uh, pattern here. And this is how it looks one week after. You can see now we have the morning star pattern again. I cannot recommend this pattern enough. It's very important. And once you start studying it, you will see the beauty of it. So buying neutral selling. And this is how it looks on the lower time frame. We have the gap here, the breakout gap this time. We are breaking through the neckline here, through the support and resistance level. And then we are retesting it from underneath. You can see the retest is happening here at the gap close. And then you can see eventually we sell, sold off multiple times out of this area. And all started really after we have the weekly pin bar. Then we are moving on to the weekly morning star pattern. And we can very nicely see how the microstructure is showing us one sign after the other that the market is gaining more selling pressure and that it is likely that more selling is to come. So that's why in my experience it's very important to know about the microstructure to be able to read that nuanced microstructure on the lower time frames because you will pick up more information on the lower time frames and you may even be able to get into better trades earlier because you know what is going on on the micro level. So I hope this helped and I hope this video taught you something new. If it did, leave a comment below, let me know and you will see me in the next video.